Good morning, this is uh, Greg, uh, N4KGL. I'm here at Kinsaw Park in Lynn Haven, Florida to do some antenna testing. I'm a few minutes early and just uh, observing how calm the water is uh, here on the bay. And uh, we have a uh, lot of uh, room here um, to do some uh, testing and I want to evaluate a one wavelength 80 meter horizontal loop, uh, kind of a sky hook, and uh, checking it out for field day, June 23rd and 24th. And uh, so <clears throat> we will see how that unfolds. All right, this is an update in our installation on uh, the corner that we're feeding. We have a camo pole tripod. Uh, this is where we'll have the uh, AG6IF uh, 2.5 to 1 ballon. Uh, we have some green wire here. Uh, we've laid things out in a square, 65 feet on each side. And we haven't hoisted the wire yet, but we have the jet kite. 31 foot poles <clears throat> uh, here and I'm joined by Dennis WA6QKN and Phil N4STC they are making this all possible here so uh, we have poles on the corners and poles halfway in between uh, have a little uh, carabiners to attach the wire. We're not going all the way up to the top of the pole. Uh, we're actually going up to the 20 foot level. And uh, so this is the 260 foot, 80 meter full wave loop uh, in progress. And uh, all right, we'll see if we can get these wires up to 20 feet. All right, we've uh, <clears throat> elevated the poles and our wire is up at 20 feet all the way around. All this took about an hour and a half, our first try here. But <clears throat> I don't see anything about it that's not working out. So we'll, we will be uh, checking the SWR at the end of a hundred foot coax. All right, we have the uh, antenna hooked up to the uh, ICOM 7300. Uh, we lengthen, we, we put in about 12 feet of wire, brought down the resonant point for uh, uh, 40 and 20 meters. Uh, we're good there. It's a little on the low side on uh, uh, but, uh, we on 80, two or three but uh, I think this is the best all-around spot. Uh, there's almost no noise on any of the bands, so there's static crashes, but nothing in between. So uh, we're very uh, we're very pleased. So uh, we're we're just checking out the bands. Uh, no, I believe it's weekend after next. It'll be the uh, 23rd and the 24th, and uh, yeah, we'll be <coughs> camping out uh, uh, about 50 miles north of here, and uh, we're uh, really looking forward to it. Oh, yeah. Well, I uh, bet so. My goodness. Are you outside there? You got wind blowing on you? <laughs> uh, we are. There's a uh, a breeze that's cooling us off so it's going right across the mic yeah we're at a park that's right next to the bay it's called Kinsaw Park uh, here in Lynn Haven Florida and uh, of course it's a warm day but uh, the uh, uh, the breeze feels good back to you Charlie oh yeah I'm sure it does <laughs> well you sound you got a nice strong signal here I uh I didn't even look at the S meter, but you're you're up there, and at least a good nine. So 
that's the good news. And again, it's sounding uh, sounding good. Well, I didn't think Field Day Thank was quite so uh, on yet. <laughs> it's been so long since I've been involved with that. I kind of didn't remember anyway. Uh, boy, it takes back memories, though, of years ago. Particularly when I was a novice. I, <laughs> I never forget nope. that. I was uh, in Illinois, and uh, there was a little town that one of the boys that I knew my age, we were in, we were in uh, uh, high school. And, uh, matter of fact, 13 years old, just getting ready to go in as a freshman that summer, or well, we was the summer before that. But anyway, and so we decided we would uh, get into that. And I can remember going over, again, I was just a novice at the time, but the uh, control station, of course, had his general. And we put up some sort of antennas I could, you know, and, but what I do remember mostly is getting the opportunity to talk on phone, which wasn't something I could usually do, of course, and hmm. wow, did I ever have a grand time doing that. <laughs> I don't think we got a whole bunch of points, but we had a lot of fun doing it anyway. And uh, we went to a, a, a fairgrounds over there, little bitty old town, nobody around but us. We were in a shelter house, you know. And we didn't have a generator, I don't think. I think we just plugged it in and uh, went that went that way with it. But uh, anyway, you got things. Uh, what uh, what kind of equipment are you running there? Over. All right, Charlie. Uh, we're running a um, ICOM seventy three hundred, and uh, we're at um, about eighty watts. And uh, as I mentioned, our antenna is a two hundred and sixty foot loop. Uh, it's 20 feet off the ground, and uh, it's really checking out well. Uh, the noise is really low. And, uh, yeah, I've got a lot of good field day memories uh, back uh, in the late 60s uh, with, with my teenage friends in Alabama. And the club just turned field day over to us teenagers, so we had a blast. So... Uh, W0LAV from N4KGL. Okay. Well, very good. <laughs> well, that's, that's right. That's a neat thing. Like I said, I haven't been in it for quite some time. Now, Savannah, like I told you, is just north of St. Joseph. And, of course, uh, well, the club down there used to... All right, folks. We made a uh, contact on 20 meters as pretty easy we got a good signal report uh, the uh, uh, noise on the band is just very low with this antenna so we're very pleased it's doing uh... all right as a bonus I happen to have bought a my antenna 80 through 10 it is in fed and it has a matching box at the coax end and we have uh, four poles so we've got it's 130 feet uh, this is from myantenna.com it's an antenna that gets great reviews and it is supposed to to have a good SWR on almost there well every band so we'll we'll check out the SWR and uh, give you a report 